we're going to use Excel to solve the integer linear programming problem shown here. Minimize 3x plus 2y plus z, subject to negative x plus y plus 4z equal to 1, x plus 2y plus 2z equal to 5, x, y, z are required to be non-negative integers. So let's start setting this up. So we have variables x, y, and z. And the solution values will be right under. The objective is 3x plus 2y plus z. First constraint is negative x plus y plus 4z equal to 1. Second constraint is x plus 2y plus 2z equal to 5. And the value of the objective function is given by the sum product of b4 to d4 and b2 to d2. The value of the left hand side of the constraint 1 is the sum product of b6 up to d6 with b2 up to d2 and for the second constraint the value of the left hand side is given by the sum product of b7 to d7 with b2 to d2 so now we are ready to call our solver so let's go to data and click on solver All right, so the objective is to minimize the cell e4 and by changing the cells b2 up to d2 and with the following constraints because the constraints are of the same time we can actually specify a range on the left and the same thing for the right what we'll do is we'll solve the linear programming relaxation first and so we are not going to impose any integer constraints so let's see what happens so let's change to simplex lp and we are requiring the variables to be non-negative so we should leave this checkbox checked and if we click solve we'll get an answer now as you can see x y z are already integers and so, even though we solve the linear programming relaxation, we have an integer solution that is feasible to the original problem. And so, we can conclude that this is an optimal solution for the original problem. Now, what if I change something? Let's change this right-hand side to 2. Okay, this time I'm going to call solver again. Same constraints. And then click solve. Let's see what we get. Okay, this time we get fractional values. So this is only an optimal solution for the linear programming relaxation. To solve the problem as an integer linear programming problem, we have to specify some extra constraints. So we're going to add another constraint. And this time, we require these cells to be integers. And now we have two sets of constraints, and we click Solve. And it says it cannot find a feasible solution. So there's no feasible solution to this problem. And let's see if we can see this quickly. Well, if you add the two constraints, what do you get? Okay, so 1 and negative 1 give you 0. 1 plus 2 is 3. And 4 plus 2 is 6. And the right-hand side will be 7. And now we can see that there's a problem. Because on the left-hand side, all the coefficients are divisible by 3. And so the left-hand side is always an integer multiple of 3, if x, y, z are integers. But the right-hand side is not divisible by 3. 7 is not divisible by 3. So we can see from here that there is no solution 